This is the all new 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SCL V6. I really love how this Atlas looks, especially in this tourmaline blue metallic color. Now this is the SEL V6 4 Motion R line, which means this Atlas you're looking at is fully loaded with all the creature comforts, bells and whistles, all the nice amenities that you would want and possibly need. So let's go ahead and check out the interior of this very stylish looking SUV. Of course, you have your keyless entry standard, even on the base S trim. Your door panels will go over that in more detail later, momentarily actually. You have memory seat settings as well as your seating controls. Black leather interior with white stitching and white piping along the seats. The door feels solid. Now up here, it's hard plastic. You have your door, door handle, lock on lock. Some trim. Stitching right here on the leather portion. This could be a little bit softer, but it's still comfy enough. You have your window controls as well. One air vent, you have all of your lighting controls, automatic lights as well as well as fog lights. Your digital gauge cluster. I really like these digital gauges and the fuel and temperature, temperature gauge are actually the same one that they use in Audi products. You have your three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. You have all your steering mounted controls mounted on the left and on the right of the steering wheel to interact with your cockpit and your infotainment system. I really love how these buttons feel. Feels solid. Feels very solid. You have your cruise control buttons right here. Your volume button down here in the chrome portion. Your voice commands. And, you, and this steering wheel is actually heated as well. I also like the R-Line logo on the bottom of the steering wheel. Calling space up here to store some items. Two large air vents. Here's your infotainment screen. This is all haptic, uh, haptic touch infotainment system. This Atlas does have the Fender Premium Audio. Let's go ahead and um, go to radio. So, Volkswagen's F4 team hasn't changed much, but I don't think they have to change it. It has become a little bit more crisp. They have more colors. I really like it. It's very intuitive. You have radio, media, your phone. Voice commands. And I actually don't mind that all of this is happy touch. I actually like this, like that. It may break faster, but I don't think it will be that expensive to replace the haptic touch feedback buttons navigation a little bit on the laggy side when you're scrolling but i think when you're driving uh, it's probably fine not all trims come with navigation but the good thing is that you also have apple carplay android auto and mirror link all standard on every single trim of the atlas including the base s trim with no options at all you can still get apple carplay you can see you have all of your menus right here. Here's your vehicle information, your off-road information. Although I think this car is meant to be a mall crawler, but it's just meant for going around town. I don't think this um, SUV is meant for off-roading. If you want something to off-road, get a Nissan Armada. This is more for city use. Three stage heated seats for both the front driver and passenger. You have all of your controls. For the AC, you have dual zone climate control. This vehicle comes equipped with auto start stop, but you can turn it off. You have your hazards button. And down here, you do have 
two USB-C ports, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Here's your gear shift that controls the eight speed automatic transmission. Start stop button right here, the electronic parking brake, your various drive modes such as snow, normal drive mode, off road and mountain, mountainous terrain mode, I would say it's called. You have all of your parking assists right there. Two cup holders, nice piano black trim with your huge armrest, very deep, one USB port, soft, squishy armrest. Really loving these leather seats, supportive, very comfy. I really love this Atlas. Like, I'm not a huge Volkswagen fan, but this is great. Great glove box as well. You have your three garage door settings, as well as your mirror. <clears throat> you have a sunroof as well. You have all of your SOS controls, all of your lighting controls as well. You can control the lights on the back of the vehicle from the front of the cabin, actually, which is a very convenient feature to have. Now let's go ahead and check out the second row. These doors are massive, to be honest. And that's a good thing because if you're trying to fit like three three children at once, I mean, you can do that. These massive doors. Here. You can see you have cheaper plastic, it doesn't really matter up here. Nice stitching right here with this leather portion. Could be a little bit squishier here, but overall I'm comforted, it's decent. You have your window switch. You have some nice storage spaces, one little one up there and one down there. You also have your sunshade, rear sunshade. I have tons of room back here. As you can see, I can stretch my legs all the way, all the way I want to. Super comfy back here. Two air vents as well. So you can see you have your temperature adjusting right here. You have your fan speed. Both of the rear passengers to get heated seats. You can also change the uh, where the air will blow. So down here, this is right nice and flat. That you can put your feet here in the middle. Um, somewhat comfortable. Down here you have two USB-C ports. And this is actually uh, rather odd. You push and then it reveals a, a three-prong house style outlet. The seats back here, very comfy. I love the pattern. Very nice headrests. You also have your armrest right here. Down uh, under here, there are two cup holders. And here's what it looks like from the rear seats. Let's go ahead and jump jump into the third row. I'm five seven. And I have the seat um, pushed right here next to the C pillar. And guess what? I have a good amount of space back here. Yeah, I'm 5'7", I'm not a, a little kid. I have space, I can put my feet under here. Uh, this could be good for short rides, but definitely not for longer rides. Better for little children. Everyone back here, very nice and convenient. Of course, it's all plastic, you expect that. You have two cup holders with a little storage space right here. I wish it was a place where the third row passengers could put their arms, but mostly people gonna, uh, that are going to be sitting back here are little kids, so I don't think they would really care about that. So on, this, on the other side, you have the same thing. Couple cup holders, storage, uh, and everything that you need. 
We also have two little lights up here. I really love this sunroof that extends all the way back here. Even the people in the third row can see the beautiful sky. And here's a look at what it looks like from the third row. Let's go ahead and check out that cargo space. All you have to do in order to open the cargo space is press a switch down here and the tailgate will rapidly open for you. Now the third row is up and there's actually a decent amount of space back here. You have your first aid kit, your roll side assistance kit as well, floor mats and everything. You can fold the second and third row seats down if you really need more space and usability. But I think this is fine actually. With the third row up. Just press right here and then the tailgate will close. Now let's say this would happen. I really like the Atlas, but I don't need the third row. Well, this is the Atlas Crossboard. It's basically the same as the Atlas, except it has a shorter wheelbase and slightly different styling. As you can see, the back end is a little bit different. But overall, the car is pretty much the same. Now, look. Look at all that space you have behind the second row. Similar styling to the Atlas. Same, exact same interior. Just a smaller SUV. 12 parallel back here. Lots of room. This particular one's the SE model. And finished off in silver. So if you have two children instead of three, you can get the Atlas Cross. Five-seater SUV still. You have space under here as well. Great alternative to the Honda Passport. Also has a power lift game. Thank you so much for watching this review of the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas SCL4 Motion V6 and the mini review of the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SE V6. Which one is better for you? Which one do you like more? Please leave your feedback in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.